Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to deploy a roaming profile using group policy in Windows Server 2022. A user profile contains personalized application settings, desktop configurations, application preferences, and other user-specific data. A roaming user profile redirects user profiles to a file share so that users receive the same operating system and application settings on multiple computers. Use folder redirection to store user files such as documents and downloads outside of user profiles. This enables the same files to be available to users across operating system versions. It also keeps profiles small and sign-ins quick. If you want to deploy roaming user profiles to computers, as it typically done for remote desktop services or virtualized desktop deployments, use the procedure shown in this video. If you want to deploy roaming user profiles to user accounts, instead use the procedure described in earlier video on how to set up roaming user profiles for user accounts. Link to that video is given in the description area. For this demo, we have two Windows Server 2022 VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msaptivwebcast.com domain. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. In the first step, we will create a roaming user profile security group. From the Server Manager's tool menu, open Active Directory Users and Computers. Right-click HR Users OU, select New and select Group. In the group name, type the name of the security group. For example, Roaming Profile Users. In Group Type, select Security and then select Global in Group Scope. Click OK to create a new security group. Right-click the newly created group and select Properties. Go to Members tab, click on Add. Type Deepak and click on Check Names. Select OK. Confirm that Deepak Patel has been added as member to this group. Click on Apply and OK. Click on Add our Servers OU. We have stored the computer account of our member server under this OU. The hostname of our member server is ws2022-sav01. We will link the roaming profile GPU to this OU. In second step, we will create a new shared folder to store roaming profile data. In our test environment, I am going to create a shared folder on our domain controller. If you have dedicated file server, then create a shared folder on your file server. In the server manager, click on File and Storage Services and then click on Shares. Select Task and then select New Share. The new shared wizard appears. On the Select Profile page, select SMB Share Quick Profile. If you have File Server Resource Manager installed and you are using Folder Management Properties, instead select SMB Share Advanced Profile. Click Next. On the Share Location page, select the server and volume on which you want to create the share. Choose Type Custom Path option and click on Browse. Click on New Folder. Type a meaningful name for this folder, for example, RDP Profiles. Click on Select Folder. Click on Next to continue. Type a name for the share in the Share Name box. We will put dollar sign at the end of the share name to hide the shared folder. Click Next. Clear the Allow Catching of the Share checkbox. Select the Enable Access Base Enumeration checkbox. This enables users to only see folders and files that they have access to. Click Next to continue. Click on Customize Permissions. Click on Disable Inheritance and then select Convert Inherited Permissions into Explicit Permissions on this object. Remove both users' entries. Click on Add. 
click on selective principle type roaming and click on check names we can see our roaming profile users group is now selected click okay change the applies to to this folder only click on show advanced permissions assign create folders and append data permission click okay click on apply and okay click next to continue on the confirmation page select create the shared folder created successfully click close to close the window in the next step we will create a gpo which allows us to enable roaming user profiles on computers remember we are not using rds yet in windows server rds farms the use of user profile disk or fs logics profile technology is preferable to roaming user profiles in future videos when we configure remote desktop services we will use user profile disk over roaming profile on server manager click on tools and select group policy management let me maximize the gpmc console and click on group policy objects right click the group policy objects node and select new a new gpu dialog box enter the name of new gpu i have given name roaming profile for rdp users click okay the gpu is created successfully right click the gpu and select edit maximize the window in group policy management editor navigate to computer configuration policies administrative templates system and then click on user profile double click set roaming profile path for all users logging onto this computer this policy setting specifies why the windows should use the specified network path as a roaming user profile path for all users logging onto this computer choose enabled radio button and the path to the file share where you want to store the user's roaming user profile followed by percentile username percentile percentile username percentile is automatically replaced with the username in the first time the user signs in in our example the path is unc path ws2022 have an dc01.msftwebcast.com/rdbprofiles$ slash percentile username percentile uh, let me show the path let's open notepad and let me enter the path here so this is the shared folder path where we are going to store users roaming profile data let me close this click on apply and okay to save the changes you can configure the sat user home folder policy setting and then specify the file share and drive later to map or specify a local folder a user's home folder is the default folder used by some programs such as windows powershell in this video i'm not going to set up home folders by default the user's roaming profile folder is only accessible to the user himself you cannot access the profile folder even if you are a domain administrator If you want to access this folder then you have to take ownership of each folder and grant yourself access to every subfolder inside the parent folder There are multiple options to fix this issue you can use powershell script to grant roaming profiles access to administrator you can use file explorer to take ownership of that folder and assign yourself permissions But in this video we will enable add the administrator security group to roaming user profile settings to grant access to the administrator's group double click add the administrator security group to roaming user profile setting choose enabled radio button and click on apply and okay close the group policy management editor after completing the group policy configuration we need to link the new gpo with the ou that contains the member service computer account in the group policy management right click the azure servers ou and select link an existing gpo select the gpo which we created earlier in our example 
we have created the GPO roaming profile for RDP users. Let's select it and click on OK to link this GPO to selected OU. We can confirm that the GPO has been successfully linked to our OU Azure servers. Let's go to our member server to manually update the group policy settings. On member server, we have logged in using the domain administrator's username and password. First, let's enable remote desktop on this server. On local server, click on remote desktop disabled link. Choose allow connections to this computer radio button. Click OK to add required firewall exceptions rule in Windows Defender firewall. Click on select users. Here we can specify who can remotely connect to the server using RDP. For testing purpose, we will add roaming profile users group. Click on add. Type roaming and click on check names. Click OK. Again click on OK. Click on apply and OK to save the changes. Click on refresh and confirm that remote desktop is now enabled on our member server. So we have successfully enabled remote desktop on this server and only users who are member of the roaming profile users group can connect to this server using RDP. Open run menu, type cmd and hit enter key to open command prompt. Type command gp update slash force and hit enter key to manually update the group policy settings on this member server. Updated group policy settings applied successfully on this computer. Let me close the command prompt and close server manager. We have to restart this computer in order to apply the group policy settings properly as some changes will not take effect until after a reboot of the computer. Let's restart this Windows Server 2022 member server. After restart, let's again log in to this member server using domain administrator's username and password. Let's go back to our domain controller. To test roaming user profiles, sign into a member server configured for roaming user profiles using RDP. Let's minimize all open windows. Open run menu. Type mstsc and hit enter to open remote desktop client. Type hostname ws2022-srv01.msftwebcast.com. This is the hostname of our member server. Click on connect. Click on more choices. Click on use a different account. Type username. Deepak P at msftwebcast.com. Now type user's password and click on OK to log into member server using remote desktop. We can see the message securing remote connection. This will take few seconds to connect to our member server using RDP. We can confirm that the user Deepak Patel has successfully logged in remotely to the member server using remote desktop. We can confirm the user is Deepak Patel. Uh, let's sign out from this session. On our domain controller, open File Explorer. Go to C drive and access RDP Profiles folder. Here we can see we have user streaming profile folders named administrator.v6 and deepak.p.v6. V6 represent OS version information. Profile version 6 is for Windows 10 version 16.07 and later operating system. Access Deepak P V6 folder. Since we have added administrator security group to roaming user profiles folder, administrator can access the folders. Here we can see all user profiles folder including desktop, documents and downloads. Now let's go back to our member server. Open run menu, type sysdm.cpl and hit enter key. Go to advanced tab. Under user profiles, click on settings. Check the user profile type for the user Deepak Patel and administrator. It should be roaming, 
as we have configured roaming profile path for all users logging onto this computer setting using group policy. From now onwards, any user logging to this member server will have a roaming profile and the profile will be stored in a shared folder configured on the domain controller. That's all for this video on how to deploy roaming user profile for computers using group policy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.